Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, before we get started into this video, um, I'm just finishing up editing it and I'm gonna start getting it uploaded on the YouTube. Um, but if you could do me a favor, uh, watch this video all the way through. Um, this is uh, this has been a long time coming um, and I know I'll be chit-chatting for a little while in it, but, uh, but I really do hope you watch it all the way through because um, I have a message for you guys there at the end. So do me a favor, watch this video all the way through, and um, guys, we'll see you in the video. I just put in my last day at Gordon Food Service. Alrighty guys, so there as you could tell, um, yeah, I put in my last day at Gordon Food Service. And actually we're a couple days after the fact um, of me having my last we day. Are yep, you're sweeping. Got a little man here at the shop, but uh, so let's talk about this. Um, for those of you that are just now tuned into the channel, we're having a lot of subscribers just joining us here um, now that springtime is rolling around. For the past five years, I've been working full time and running the business to get our business to a point of taking it full time. When I first started this, I had no intentions on it getting to, you know, what we're at today and wanting to make this a career and um, wanting to build a business out of it. It was literally just to cover payment of a mower. And then, you know, we stumbled upon um, something I grew a passion for, and that is what we've been doing. Um, so for the past like two years, we've been, 
trying to get our ducks in a row, which everyone knows ducks don't, you know, swim in a row, but we've been trying to get them lined up as much as possible, so that way when we do make the jump, we can try to make that transition as smooth as possible. So, I worked at Gordon's for nine years, and Gordon's has been super great to my family, it's been great to us, um, but after doing the business and seeing what, you know, what can become of the business and where we see our future in the business, um, we felt like it was a good idea to to drop Gordon's and, um, and take the business on full time. Uh, it's it's a big jump because um, you know we make good money, we have great benefits at Gordon's. Um, so I know a lot of folks say like around here probably question why the heck would I do such a thing, um, but you know. Um, this is what we feel like is best for our family because um, the biggest thing is working both I was having to put in like stupid long hours like really long hours um, like I'd wake up between 3.30 4 in the morning for work get off between 12 and 2 then hit the pavement running on the business and with that that means I was walking into the house 8 9 o'clock at night um, just walking in to catch some dinner to be heated up in the microwave, uh, see some, see the kids for just a little bit before they went to bed and then, you know, have just a little bit of time with my wife. So, so it's definitely a lot of long days, but it has got us to this point to get us to where we are. Like today was the first day that I woke up and we just did the business all day. Um, and it was great. It felt great. Like, like right now it's, well, right, it's right now it's 545. I went and picked up. Easton because he wanted to come to the shop. Um, he likes coming to the shop, dropping off the trailer and everything. Right now he's sweeping. You sweeping the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Um, you know, it's it's like I would be halfway through my you know my route right now because I'd be getting back at eight thirty nine o'clock. So to like wake up in the morning, come to the shop, hook up, roll on out, and get started. You know, like today I. Today I got a little later start than what I wanted to. Um, I got started around 9.30. Um, but typically I'd, I think I'm gonna try and get to the shop here at 7.30. Or roll out of the house at 7.30 or so. And try to get to the shop by eight every morning. So anyways, like today, you know, I woke up in the morning, got up, did the whole deal, and it just felt good to finally, like, just such a stress relief. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still things that are stressful because we're it's it's actually a blessing because we're actually hey no 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 leave those there yep don't touch it it's actually a blessing Here, let me let me take this hat off it's actually a blessing just because like the amount of landscaping calls we've gotten in the past three weeks is more landscape calls than we got all year last year the calls are coming in they are absolutely coming in you know and we're stacking up landscape jobs and that's even with all this corona deal going on and it's still early so like I, it's just it's just crazy like how how everything's worked out. But but I haven't made a video about it. I hadn't really posted anything on Instagram. So just know like from here on out, it's not working full time and running a landscape company. It is we are running a lawn and landscape company. And I'm still gonna be bringing this camera. I'm still gonna be bringing you guys along the way. Now we're in a new phase to where we're growing our business. Now we're able to take on whatever we want. We can work as hard as we want. We, you know we can. There's just so many more opportunities now. Like today, like when I got done mowing, it was just weird because I was like, oh my gosh, it's five o'clock and I'm done with my route. I feel like I should still be working because I'm used to working till dark, but no. Like five o'clock, there's my day. You know, obviously here soon we may be putting in longer days just to get this work knocked out, but, but like say I finish my mowing route up at one o'clock, I have enough time to, you know, knock out a small mulch job or a trim job or whatever it may be, and it's not going to be that I'm rolling back to the house at 9 o'clock. I mean, it's just crazy. But there is something I do want to kind of touch base on here real quick, and it is just it's something I haven't really told anyone. Obviously, it's with my wife and stuff, but you know, something happened there at the end of fall last year that was just... Um, it was just a calming feeling. I don't know how to say it. It was just... Like the way it all worked out was super crazy. So just just hear this out and it's actually giving me chills just thinking about it. So anyways, 
Last fall is the first time that I told anyone besides, you know, like my wife that we're going to be going full time in the business. Um, I was out doing some work at the house and my dad comes across the street. We're talking because I just got back from, or just meeting, you know, an HOA to put in a bid for this year or whatever. And, uh, you know, dad was asking like, oh, what do you, you know, how if you get that, you know, you're pretty busy. How are you going to juggle, um, you know, all that on top of what you're doing and, you know, working at Gordon's and I was like, oh cat's out of the bag now so uh yeah I, and that's when i told him for the first time that we were going to be this spring we we're going to be uh taking the business full time and then that next night um i ended up telling my mom um you know we went over to my parents house for dinner we ended up telling them and you know it just it just felt good to finally get that weight off my shoulders because we haven't told anyone one thing i didn't want to do because i tr i like highly respect my parents is i respect their opinion i like Last thing I want to do is do something like to, I don't know. You know what I'm saying though? Like I just, I just appreciate what my parents have done for me in my life. I want them to be proud of me. I don't want them to think, you know, like less me for doing what we're doing. But it was just a huge weight off my shoulders just to finally just let it out and say, hey, this is what we're going to be doing. There it is. So anyways, like as you guys know, I work, I deliver for GFA. Used to deliver for, <laughs> that's weird saying. I used to deliver for Gordon Food Service and we would deliver to, you know, mom and pop restaurants, hotels, hospitals, all that jazz. We would deliver everywhere. And there's this one restaurant I always deliver to. It was just a hole in the wall joint. I delivered there for like two years. I walk in, this is the, the week after I told my parents, I walk in and on their stand up freezer there's a scripture i have been i'm telling you i've delivered there every single week for two years never seen it and i don't know if it'll focus in on there oh it's going to be backwards but it's jeremiah 29 11 it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and i had never noticed that and it was like right after i told my parents i was like oh my gosh like if that is not just crazy, like, to tell them finally that we're going to be taking the business on full time, we have, you know, trying to get everything lined up, and then to see something like that, it was, is, I got chills thinking about it. So I call my wife, I'm on my way back to our yard, and I just start crying. I start telling her, I'm like, Jordan, you'll never believe what I just, like, this, how crazy is it? Like, we just, all that weight on my shoulders for telling my parents and everything, and then I see this, and what is super crazy, even more crazy is that day, her home office had sent an email, um, and sometimes they tag a scripture, and it was that exact scripture, like, that exact scripture at that time, and it was just like, holy crap, like, it, it just gave me, like, a feeling of, like, securement, and, like, I don't know. It was just it was just mind blowing and like to read something like that. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Like, holy crap, if that did not hit home, because it definitely did. Then on top of that, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. It's just crazy thinking like after five years of doing this, swinging both jobs all the time to finally get to where we are and to make that jump is completely it is just mind-blowing like it seemed like so long but it went by so quick if there's anything i take back is just a lot of the time that i missed but i do know and i do feel that if it wasn't for the time that we sacrificed there we would not be in the position we are now like the calls that are coming in the contacts we're making uh the jobs we're landing like all that hard work I feel like is now starting to pay off. Like we're starting to get traction. We're starting to get a name for ourselves out here. And we haven't even pumped out advertising and we have 21 landscape jobs on the board. And to think like, there's no way that could be done if I was still working full time. So it's just the work that's coming. It's, it's just a blessing. We're going to run with it. We're about to start pumping out advertising. It's going to be crazy. But I did just want to make this video. I wanted to get it out there so then, then we can move on with, you know, a different style of content or whatever. I don't, I'm not going to change my ways. I'm still going to be the same old, like, what up? But 
Yeah, I just know like all of you guys' support on the back end, you know, all of you guys like words of encouragement saying like you got this, one day you're going to crush it, I can't wait to see you go full time, all that, all that has just been super motivational um, and I, I just can't thank you guys enough. My wife has been there supportive through this whole thing and uh, it's it's just crazy so so thank you guys very much for just keep pushing me um, thanks for keep tuning into these videos um, I hope my videos help someone help you guys out a, a little bit if not hopefully they're fun to watch so so guys thank you can't wait to see what this year holds I can't wait to see what opportunities we can take on just how our business is going to grow how we adapt how we transform our business um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm just super excited. Um, so I, I'm going to quit rambling on. I'm going to quit babbling. But I did just want to get out there to you guys that I'm no longer working full-time and running a business. We are now running the landscaping business full-time. So guys, I appreciate you tuning in this video. Do me a favor, guys. Do me a solid. Give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, if you can relate, um, drop comments down below. Let me know. Have you been in the same situation? Like, did you do the same thing? Did you work full-time, run a business? Um, any words of encouragement, any tips, guys, drop those down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I read every single one of my comments. I reply to every one of the comments. So, so again, thank you guys very much. Keep tuning in to the content. Keep tuning in to the YouTube channel. We're going to be bringing you guys lots of content this year. So, so thank you guys very much. And, guys, as always, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, never stop. Guys, we go see you in the next one.